Canelo or Kovala? I pick Canelo. Kovala is a shot. Kovala is shot. He's been shot. He's done. He can't pull the trigger no more. So I, I pick Canelo in the fight. He's shot. He's shot. You know, but given a few years ago, I would have picked Kovala. Even though he's jumping up two weight classes? Oh. Canelo. Canelo's champion of two weight classes. Listen, you gotta understand. Today, people can be champion of three weight classes. Today, people really don't know how to fight. They don't know how to fight. So, you can move up to different world um, classes like nothing. It's like real easy. Like, guys, like I said before, the guy go boom, boom, he step back. Boom, boom, he step back, he move, he slip. His turn, your turn, he, he turn, his turn. Nobody really attacks attacks a person. Uh, a, a good guy, a, a good fighter at that way. What are they fighting at, light heavyweight? Gee, just picture it. In the ring was somebody like, 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 like Iron Barkley. Marvelous Marvin Hagler. These guys know how to fight and they will fight you. You, you can see the difference why people can move. These guys are just too small for these guys, like Tommy Hearns, Iran, and these guys, these guys knew how to fight. Um, um, Sugar Ray Leonard will move up and wait. These guys knew how to fight. They knew how to fight. Uh, today, boxing is all about is business. It's like, like WWE, whatever you call it now. It's like everybody runs off at the mouth. Everybody say what they're gonna do. He's gonna do this, he's gonna do that. He's gonna kill him. I'm gonna cut his neck off. I'm gonna do this. And then, as soon as the fight happened, as soon as the fight go, they both running around the ring, zipping, zipping, slipping, slipping. You know what happened to all the killer stuff? Back in the days, nobody said anything. They went near, they fought, and they tried to kill each other. Ortiz Wilder, too. I picked Wilder, of course, Wilder's a fighter. I think Ortiz is a little old, He's, and I think Wilder just has that fire. Wilder is going to run out there and punch him in the mouth. Nobody fights like that. Nobody fights to, 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 to get hurt. And I'm not saying you pose a good thing. Or never to hurt somebody, you got to take on a chance on getting hurt. You take a chance or to knock somebody out, there's a chance you got to take on knocking some, getting knocked out. And a lot of guys, they're afraid, they're not going down that aisle. And when he fought, when he fought them before, what the wild to come in that time? He came in a little light, right? Yeah. He was very light. They say he was sick, but he still fought. He was sick. This time, he's going to be 100%. Um, I think, and then you, you don't know how Ortiz is going to react after that knockout. A lot of people, after they get knocked out, they they go down that aisle, they still fight, and you know, they don't, they believe that it was a, it was an accident, it was a freak accident, that's why they got knocked out. But then you got some guys who like, hey, shit, I'm not going to get knocked out. When they feel that buzz, when they get hit, I've been hit before, I felt the buzz, but I've never been stopped. When they feel that buzz, when they get hit, they make their peace with God, they either quit, or they they lay down. Joshua and Maurice too. I like I like Maurice in this fight again. Joshua, I seen him fight a fight a few fights before that. He fought some guy. He went to the decision. Um, the guy just popped him on the chin one time, and he kind of made his peace with God. He um he he wasn't going in there. He wasn't going down that aisle to try to attack this guy. Maurice is coming to get him. Maurice is a fighter. Maurice want to show that this wasn't a fluke. And Maurice knows how to fight. You see, you got fighters like Maurice, you got fighters like, like Achille Ogadi, Mickey Ward, you had fighters like Iron Barkley, Marvin Hagler, you had Muhammad Ali. These guys were dogs. They're gonna fight. They're gonna get hit. I, and, 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 and I can't forget about uh, my, my man, um, even really Bo, Evander Holderfield, James Tony. These guys were Fighters, I can go on and on and like Pacquiao. When when he when he this guy, Joshua gets hit. If he get hit with a hard shot, anytime he can be willing to fight. He's gonna feel that buzz. He's gonna have that in the back of his mind. Man, this guy can hit me again. And he can knock me out. He's gonna get on the defensive side of the fight. But I really pick I pick um I pick I pick Josh I pick um Ruiz in this fight. Like if you watch mostly all these fights today. Everybody is one, two, and they stepping back. They've trained that. Trainers really today, it's the trainers today. Trainers really can't train for shit. Trainers, they don't know how to show a guy how to really sit down and hit a bag. 
Everything is pad work and sound and pad and pad. Like bop, bop, step back, bop, bop, step to the side, footwork, footwork, move, foot, foot. Moving out of the way of punches. If you look at the 80s and the early 90s, when people fought, they was here. And they, somebody threw a punch, you wow, counter, bang, bang, right back, bang, they counter, bang, bang, bang. Now today, everybody's one, two, and step back. And that's what, that's what, what's the name that's um, the guy from um, Joshua does. Joshua's gonna bang, bang, and slip back, slip back. He's pulling, he's setting his own stuff up. He's not going in there. Listen, he's a bigger and stronger man than Maurice. He has a lot of power. Why don't you go in there and fight this man? What gives this man the privilege to come walk you down and you have to run away? And therefore, that's why he's not gonna win the fight because Ruiz is more comfortable going at you, throwing shots. He's very comfortable coming at you. And I, I like Ruiz and he got balls. He will fight, he's gonna fight like he doesn't care. And he's gonna fight to death. Ruiz has a lot of balls. A lot of fighters today, it's all like, you know, like, like wrestling. WWE wrestler could not beat no world-class wrestler if they wrestle. It can't happen. It's not gonna happen. Um, it's all, you know, boxing now is like entertainment. Like, it is, it's good. Because there's a lot of people's making a lot of money now, a lot of black guys making money, and I'm very happy about that. You know, before it was like, you know, if you had a great Caucasian at fought, he gets all the money. The other guy could be the champ and everything's got split even or the, or the white guy gets the money because he draws the crowd, you know. But like, like back, back in the days, the reason of that matter too was it was like Tiger, Hood, Tiger Woods, like being black, winning the, getting the world champion for a Caucasian, he could be Caucasian. If he was Caucasian, he represented everywhere in the world, Europe, everywhere, just because he's Caucasian. He was a world champion. And like Tiger Woods, when he won the Masters, and he's all that being that he was black, it was like, you know, everybody looked up to that, you know, because of what he did. It was like that. Now today, fighters can win world titles today because, like I said, they not they really don't know how to fight. They're not trained, right? Everything is move back, footwork, move this way, that way. The Europeans are not doing that, and the Mexicans ain't doing that. They win their world titles like crazy today. There is nothing in the history of boxing. When they let blacks into boxing, professional boxing, years ago, like Jack Johnson, these guys, that is more Caucasians and Filipino, Mexican um, world champions. And if you, you think I'm just saying that, you look it up. And then everybody got on that guy, um, what's his name, the trainer, the Mexican trainer? I forgot his name. No, no, he's the Mexican trainer. Phil, what's that Mexican trainer name? Triple G trainer. Um, he was Triple G's? Yeah, yeah, uh, Sanchez. Sanchez, everybody got on him because he said that. He's telling the truth, he's not a racist. He's saying the blacks won't, won't fight. The Spanish, they won't fight. Everything is pretty style, style, move, move. Like, why would you let somebody come hit you in your face and you run from him? You punch your back in his face. You gotta show a guy, you hit me, I hit you. I'm not backing up, that's rumble. People look at me and say, oh, you stupid, you crazy? He can get hurt. Okay, what? I can get hurt, he can get hurt too. Why am I gonna run from him? So what? Let me get hurt, but I'm gonna try to hurt him while I'm getting hurt. You understand what I'm saying, right, sir? It's just that everything is pop, pop, and moving back. Pop, pop, run over here. Boom, 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 run over here, run over here. They could be a big, huge guy with a guy about this height here. And you hit him and you running, you sticking and moving. No, you stand there, you get that out of there. You try to take his head off like he's trying to take your head off. No, 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 don't do that. Oh, and, and you gotta look pretty with footwork. You gotta yeah, just use your footwork, use your jab, just move around. Get the out of here. You gotta have balls, okay? You gotta, you, in this game, yo, you gotta have pride. I don't know how some fighters, they could be fighting, they on TV, they got their kids watching, their wife fighting, their family, and they running around the motherfucking ring from another mother. It's crazy. This is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Live from the camp. Live the camp. Uh huh. This is Real Fans Real Talk. Real Fans Real Talk. We as real as you thought.